Longhorns are said to be the first cattle to set foot in North America. They're the only breed of cattle to evolve without human management. And frankly, they don't always take a human direction even today. Longhorns can thrive in a country, in a country where no other breed could even survive. They can subsist on weeds, cactus, and brush for days without water. Now, I'll tell you, these are pampered longhorns. They don't have to eat cactus, and they do get their water. But they go where they want to go. And we're fortunate they want to go down our parade route today. Remember, after the parade, they'll head back to their corral on the grounds of the Salvation Army Center at the corner of Maine and Charles. Stop by, get some selfies. Some of these love to be on camera. You'll figure out which one. Louisville was actually more farm country than cattle country, although we do have cattle in the area. But certainly they do a good job of reminding us of the, the rural heritage on which Louisville was founded 150 years ago. And behind the cattle and behind their handlers, there's an important part of the parade. That's our scooping crew. It's a dirty job, but a good one. Because I don't want to have the band march through what they miss. So thank you to our workers for their job. And in clearing the way for the rest of the parade, you'll see a patrol vehicle from Louisville Police Department. And right behind them are members of the Louisville Police and Fire Joint Honor Guard presenting the state and national colors. We encourage you to stand, remove your hats, and honor our state and national flags as they pass by the reviewing stand in today's parade. Right behind our Joint Honor Guard, you can't mistake the sound of traditional Scottish bagpipes. Here we have pipes and drums being played by members of the Louisville Fire Department Pipe and Drum Corps. And directly behind, please join me in a hearty welcome for the Grand Marshal of today's parade, the star of Nickelodeon's Every Which Way and Louisville's own, actress Paola Andino. 2016 graduate of Louisville High School, also been seen on Grey's Anatomy and the Hallmark Channel. Now she can add our parade. Please welcome our Grand Marshal. Right behind is the Citizens on Patrol vehicle from graduates of the Louisville Citizens Police Academy. Hey, be sure and mark your calendar for the annual Battle of the Bad Softball Tournament October 15th at Toyota Louisville Railroad Park, benefiting Children's Advocacy Center for Denton County. We have Louisville Fire Engine 164 representing our fire department. And then in the vehicle from Upline Auto Dealership to Mayor Pro Tem T.J. Gilmore. And yes, now we have the band that marches with pride, the Fighting Farmer Band from Louisville High School under the direction of Dr. Marty Courtney. Senior drum majors are Pat McGarris and Isabel Jacoby. Junior drum majors are Angela White and Alison Arapesa. Let's enjoy the wonderful sound of the Louisville Fighting Farmer Band.
in the vehicle from Parade Sponsor Hotline's auto dealership and City Councilman Neil Ferguson, former president of the Greater Louisville Arts Alliance and an active participant in many community events. Mr. Ferguson was first elected to City Council in December 2011. And behind him, now taking center stage in the Cattle Drive Parade, are students and parents representing Louisville High School Theater and the Fame Theater Booster. LHS Theater will present Disney's High School Musical on October 27, 29, and 30 at Stuber Auditorium. And kids grades kindergarten through 8 are not going to want to miss the all-school musical theater camp scheduled for October 15th at the high school. Visit LouisvilleTheater.com visit Louis for additional information about High School Musical and the All School Musical Theater Camp. This year is the 10th anniversary of the original High School Musical, so come on out and see these kids maybe do it one better. Here coming up next is another member of Louisville City Council. This is Councilman Brent Daniels, elected in 2015, a Louisville resident since 1988, previously served on Planning His Only Commission and the Louisville 2025 Committee, and most importantly, this is Papa Buck from Bahama Bucks. I'm hoping for a free snow cone on today. Next vehicle and float carrying members of the Hoity Toity Red Hot Mamas, an official chapter of the Red Hat Society. Please welcome Queen Mum Linda Ward. The Red Hat Society is a social organization for women 50 and beyond who come together to enjoy life to the fullest, which today includes riding in the Cattle Drive Parade. Now, would you believe that the kazoo is their official musical instrument? Because I do believe it. And they do know how to get the most out of life. Thanks for joining us, ladies. And riding here in a truck from Hubline's Auto Dealerships is our newest city council member, the councilman Brandon Jones, in his first cattle drive parade. Pretty good throwing arm there. Don't always see that from an elected official. He was uh, he's lived in Louisville since 2011, previously served on multiple city boards, was elected this year. Brand new. And here's some royalty in the Hubline's Auto Dealerships Christmas Parade. Please welcome Mrs. Louisville 2016, Kimberly Meinhardt. She's going to represent our city when competing for the title of Mrs. Texas America next May in Corsicana. Give her a good royal wave as she goes by. And this person carriage is representing a business that's still fairly new in Old Town Louisville. This is from Fairy Tale Tea Time, right, located right here on Main Street, just to the east of the reviewing stand. Fairy Tale Tea Time specializes in children's birthday parties, salon parties, spa parties, tea parties, and well, parties. Right in this carriage are some beautiful princesses. They will be at Fairy Tale Tea Time after the parade. You can get a $10 princess makeover. Don't want to miss Precinct 4, Denton County Commissioner Andy Eads. Now, his precinct doesn't include Louisville, but he has Louisville ties, and he's a really good friend of ours and a good neighbor over in Flower Mound. So a nice hand for Commissioner Eads being in today's parade. And here we have Harris and Cub Scouts from Pack 233. Cub Scouting is a character building program for boys in first through fifth grade. These scouts regularly perform community service, flag retirement ceremonies, and the annual Scouting for Food Can Food Drive in early February. Coming up right behind the Bucking Bronco, we have girls, leaders, parents, and tag-alongs representing Girl Scouts of Northeast Texas Service Unit 406. Since its founding in 1912 by Julia Gordon Lowe, Girl Scouts of the USA has remained true to its mission of building girls of courage, confidence, and character who make the world a better place. Girl Scouts serve girls ages 5 to 17 with programs that blend fun, personal growth, and character development. Now let's keep the farmer pride loud as we welcome our next great entry. This is students from the Abbott program at the LHS Harmon campus on 3040. These students learn college and workforce skills that prepare them for success during and after high school. And they also regularly conduct community service projects around Louisville. And next is an entry from one of our festival sponsors. This is Tiger Wraps and Graphics. It includes two custom wrap vehicles. You can make your company car or your personal car a rolling billboard at Tiger Wraps, 330 Lake Park Road. And our next 
truck and trailer is representing Denton County Republican Party outreach. Now, just a reminder, folks, there seems to be some kind of election coming up in November, and, and all y'all need to get out and do the American thing and cast your ballot, because every vote counts. got stuck uh, in traffic, but no, that's one of our colorful parade entries. Our rolling longhorn, filling a little gap here. And next up after that are members of Louisville Saddle Club. Saddle Club was founded in 1965 and holds the annual Labor Day Rodeo at the Louisville Rodeo Arena on Mill Street, along with monthly play dates and competitions. Wouldn't be a cattle drive parade without some horsemanship, so thank you to Saddle Club for, uh, for taking care of that need for us in the cattle drive parade. Now approaching our Pageant Girls of Texas contestants and winners, please welcome Miss Texas Princess 2016, Ariel Medic, Mrs. Texas 2016, Elaine Mendoza, both representing Royal International Miss, Jalen Workman representing Crowns for Life, and Isabella and Elizabeth Mendoza representing Fresh Faces Pageant Boot Camp. And here we have a decorated Jeep Wrangler. This is Louisville resident Alex Mendoza, a candidate for Texas House of Representatives. Followed by, let's give a big Western Days welcome here to Ashlyn Williams, the current Miss North Texas High School Rodeo. Ashlyn represents North Texas High School Rodeo in dozens of communities to promote the sport of rodeo and our Western heritage, and we welcome her to the Cattle Drive Parade. We have a vehicle now from Louisville Lions Club. Chartered in 1945, the club provides free vision screenings and eyeglasses to LISD students, awards annual college scholarships to graduating seniors, and participates in camp summit cleanup and other activities. For information, visit lionsclub.org. And then welcome back to Cattle Drive Parade, our friends and neighbors from Louisville Bible Church right here in Old Town, 609 South Charles. The congregation wants you to know about this Awana Club for Kids. You can see the sign there on the side of the truck. Visit louisvillebiblechurch.org for information about Awana Club and other programs. And now riding by, it's our pleasure to welcome the Royalty Corps from North Texas Fair and Rodeo. North Texas Fair and Denton has been celebrating the Cowboy Way each year since 1928. Our next entry, Vehicle and Walkers, is from Louisville First Ward of Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. They're holding a genealogy fair in October. Public is invited to participate. And here's more of our equestrians. This is a riding group from Gainesville called Bold Horsemanship, a Christ-centered group of riders dedicated to showing God's love through horses. Including small horses. We love horses of all sizes. And right behind Bold Horsemanship, our next parade entry is a decorated mini bus representing the staff and students at Children's Courtyard, located at 1504 North Garden Ridge Boulevard in Louisville. Now I have to say that even during last year's floods, you weren't able to take a boat down Main Street, and yet someone's managed to do it in the Cattle Drive Parade. This is a vehicle and boat entered from Tierney's Cafe and Tavern, located on Main Street just across Mill. Serving home-style food for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The restaurant is housed in a historic 1885 home and offers legendary fried catfish, steak, seafood, and the locally popular potato chip chicken. Now, if that made you hungry, Journey's Cafe is just a short stroll down Main Street from our parade reviewing stand. And the vehicle behind is from Repeat Realty, a local residential real estate brokerage from Louisville that helps families buy, sell, or lease homes anywhere in North Texas. He has been trying to hit me with candy for nine parades now, and he still hasn't made it. But it's a nice try. And next up in the parade are our friends from Back and Body Chiropractic, located at 487 Crockett Drive at the 35 Service Road, serving the Louisville area for more than 30 years. Let the Back and Body Bear, right there on the back of the truck, 
Reminds you that when your back feels unbearable, you can't make this stuff up. Just call Dr. Matthew Gilbert and the doctors at Back and Body Chiropractor where they use the latest technology and techniques to bring about pain relief as well as general health and wellness. And then finally, the American West was not just built by cowboys and cattle. Farmers and farms played a big role in making the Old West thrive, especially here in North Texas. We aren't called farmers for no reason. Passing by now are some lovingly restored farm vehicles presented by the Denton County Antique Tractor and Equipment and Primitive Club. This community service group uses its privately owned antique tractors and equipment for show displays and parades. And these vehicles, I believe, at least some of them, will be on display on Charles Street after the parade. For information about the club or their detail-oriented and highly rewarding pastime, visit TexasPlowboys.com. As the American flag approaches and you see a flashing set of lights on the top of a Louisville police vehicle, folks, that marks the end of the 2016 Cattle Drive Parade. We again want to thank just some of our festival sponsors, Waste Management, The Wolf, Bud Light, Resource One, Credit Union, Frontier Communications, Southern Comfort Mechanical, Frost Bank, Withersburg Distillery, CoServe, and many others that make this event possible.